One night, my dad brought me up on stage because I've been begging him, you know, for years and years. Bring me up, bring me up. So finally, he gives me the opportunity. The band starts playing an Elvis song. You know, I start dancing, and the crowd loves it. You ain't nothing but a It was 1990 when we first discovered four-year-old Bruno Hernandez on stage. As the world's youngest Elvis impersonator, it was like, honey, I shrunk the king. He was getting international attention with an uncanny, miniaturized impersonation of Elvis. It was so much fun to do Elvis because I loved him. And, you know, I watched every single video, every single movie. And he was just cool, you know? I noticed that about him, that everything he does was just cool. Then, two years ago, we caught up with Bruno again, singing with the love notes in Waikiki. This time, it was more of a gig than a gag. And Bruno is still climbing the entertainment ladder, but this time he's sharing the stage with an entire cast of musical legends. Aloha, Las Vegas. Bruno is part of the Aloha Las Vegas Review in the Magic of Polynesia showroom. It's here at the Waikiki Beachcomber Hotel, and you can catch up with a whole host of superstars six nights a week. But when Bruno comes out, you won't recognize him. When I had you to myself, I didn't watch you around. Those pretty faces always made you stand out in the crowd. When someone kicked you from the bus, and that was all it took. Now it's too much too late for me to take a second look. Oh, baby, give me one more chance. Won't you please let me yeah. I was always a Michael Jackson fan because to me he is, you know, the greatest entertainer of all time. And I don't think there's anyone that can, you know, do Michael Jackson as good as he <laughs> as he does himself. But he's so unreal, he's so awesome that I just had to, I had to try it, you know. It's close to His attitude, that's the hardest part, is to have the same amount of energy. Because he does like three hour concerts and he doesn't want to die out, you know? He's always just pumping and pumping and I think that that's what I really respect about him and that's why the audience respects him about him. I love it. I mean, I have to I have to be entertaining. And the show is so different to what I'm used to. I mean, I've been playing in clubs and lounges. To be in a big showroom at the Beachcomb Hotel is it's great. As the King of Pop, Michael Jackson Bruno. Because he's a 15-year-old Roosevelt High School sophomore, Bruno comes right from school to Waikiki to do his show every day. After the early show, he does his homework, then it's back on stage to do what he loves the best being on stage, doing his act, entertaining people. From the king to the king of pop, this is something he's gonna be doing for a long time to come. <laughs> 